Hello, hello, hello. Mark here today. Today we're going to talk about expressions. Mm -hmm. I reckon I'm going to kill you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not those kind of expressions. Expressions in After Effects. Now, granted, I'm going to teach you a very, 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 very basic expression today, but it'll be a very helpful and useful one. One that you will use many, 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 many times. What can expressions do? They can do a lot of things. Order yours now. Just fucking with you. Alright, so... In the prior video that I did show you, where it had a little red dot on the chest, we're gonna show you how I did it. In this tutorial. Oh, daddy. Alright, there's a red dot. Moving around. On his chiz nest. Alright. So we could do this a couple different ways. But uh, I would like to choose the easiest way to do such an expression. Now, yes, I could make this red dot look even better. More of a glow. Add some luminance to it. But, you know, I didn't. So, I figured I'd let you guys do that. It's not that hard to... But, um, you can also use the wiggle script to wiggle the entire composition. So, say if you want to simulate an earthquake or a first-person shooter type deal where you get hit and, the, you know, you want to create a little movement there. If you want to make it look like the uh, camera got hit, like the other uh, example in the prior video to this, where the three bullets hit the camera and the entire screen moved, add a little more uh, uh, production value to your videos. So, let's get started and um, see where we end up. All right, so first what you wanna do is you wanna import your footage. You wanna go hit File, Import your file, and find your file wherever it is. If you don't know how to find your file, please find a tutorial on how to find where to put and find files, okay? Um, once you bring it in, you wanna drag it, click on it, and then drag it down into this right here, create a new composition, boom, and you'll get yourself them there right here taters mm -hmm, mm -hmm. don't ask me if I'm in a good mood I really don't freaking know anyways alright force so now this here fella's got his hands up in the air put your hands up put your hands up put your put your put your put your hands up alright listen that's why I'm not an X Factor or the other one there uh, American Idol or the voice the voice yeah What's up with Christina Aguilera's titties? I mean, gravity is definitely taking hold. Good looking chick. Uh, no comment. Oh, I plead the fifth. All right, anyways, uh, we'll get off of uh, Christine's boobies. Get off. Get it. Get off. Anyways. All right, so to create the, uh, the red dot bullet sight action, we want to uh, create a new solid. Solid. We want to make it the color of the dot, Z dot. So you want to make it red, red rum, red rum. I like to name them, you know, organization. And uh, we are gonna do sat. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna turn the uh, eye off so we don't see it. It's still there. You can't see it. Hence, I turned off the eye uh, because it is still selected. Is actually still there. So. Boom, it's still there. So what you want to do now is click on your tool up here, an ellipse tool. Make that ellipse tool. With that layer selected, click, hold down, and make her, make her, make her, make her, make her, make her like that. All right, now you may turn your layer back on. Boom, and there she blows. Now this is a big friggin' sight. I mean, this is a big dot. I mean, this you're talking, you know, probably uh, maybe a gun on a tank or something. I mean, it's definitely overkill to kill this poor slob. You know what I mean? So, uh, that, uh, we don't have to worry about that. So, moving on. So, we've got our dot. All right. And uh, we want to place it. I mean, there's good. There's good. You can move it around wherever you want. That That's fine. Um, so, we want to make it the right size, so we can, with that layer selected, we can click S and we can scale it down. You know, make it the right size. Put it where you want it to start. You know, 
right there. You could add, add a glow to it, a blur. You could do, you know, a bunch of things to it. They're more laser-esque, so they're sharper. So we'll leave it like that for now. You can add a glow to it and so on, but we're going to leave it like that. We're, we're, we're worried about expressions today than we are getting it right, you know, the color of that and whatnot. We can color correct it, you know, and really get it the color we want with a little curves adjustment and whatnot. But. So now we want to uh, we want to make this sucker move. Because right now, guess what? It's not moving. It's not moving. Look at it. It's staying right there. And let me tell you something. Unless you're on a, unless you got your gun on a, on a, you know, a tripod, uh, laying down, you you ain't got you, you. There's no way your hands that steady. Not gonna happen. All right. So, what we want to do is go down here in the uh, the uh, position. Oops. In the position, you want to go in the position, and you want to hold down Alt and click on the position. Boom, like that. All right. So you hold down Alt, click on the um, stopwatch here. All right. Once you click on that, you're gonna get this sucker's gonna pull up. Now you wanna type in wiggle, W-I-G-G-L-E, not wiggles, wiggle. Boom. Okay. Your first number is gonna be how fast it's gonna move. Blank times per second. All right. I'm gonna start out with three times per second comma and then I wanted to move 25 pixels all right end it with the uh, boom all right so now watch oh look at look at that all right oh it's coming it's coming all right so now we're gonna have more of a realist realistic effect now it's like the guy with the gun a little you know a little bit shaky you know we could tighten it up could definitely tighten it up we could tighten it up big time we could go uh, we'll make it 10 you know and we'll tighten that sucker up see how that gets us going so it's gonna be a nice a more t a much more t it's gonna be a much more tighter fucking oh my god I do I don't even do drugs this is crazy it's gonna be a much tighter pattern when, when you lower the second number okay so then you have this so that, that looks that looks pretty good, all right. And uh, you could multiply those if you want to make it a bunch of people, all right. You could make this uh, up the number here and it go faster. You could up that number and it can go wow like that. The issue is with a wiggle expression is there's no way to turn it off, okay? Not like this. You can't do it. But there is. An easy way, yes, my friends. An easy way is here, and uh, it's awesome. All right, not sure why they don't have this already built in here, but whatever. So you want to have that layer selected, effects, expression controls, slider control. All right. So we want to control the uh, second number here. Okay. Boom. So right in the front there. Do that like that. Grab this pick whip up to the slider. Boom. It adds that in for you. All right, so right now it's set at zero. So right now it's going to move three times per second, zero many pixels. So it's not going to do anything. Now we like 25, right? We like 25. Click on that. We're going to do 25. Boom. Let's see what we got now. So we're back in business. I thought we liked 15, right? We didn't like 25. It was a little much, but we'll leave it on 25. So now, three times per second, it's going to move within that 25 pixel. Okay? And just like everything else that we can animate, we can animate this. So now you can animate your slider controls. You come down here with your layer selected, okay? You find your slider control. You can move forward. Up here, add another keyframe, you know, come down here, slow him down a bit. Like he was nervous, now he's not nervous. And uh, then you're in business. And, uh, you know, very easy. You can also add that to footage, like I said. 
uh, if you wanted the entire composition to move. Real simple, real basic. Uh, you're going to be using the wiggle expression a lot. You're going to be using, you're going to want to use wiggle a lot, and uh, for many different things, it comes in handy, and it's one of the most common expressions used. This is Mark, and as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Wiggle it just a little bit. I want to hear you wiggle it just a little bit. As it moves, wiggle it ah, just a little bit. Chicka bum ba kink da wiggle it ah, just a little bit. Ah, chicka da bum da wiggle it bum da 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 b